a hearty chowder. This one's got a bit of a Cajun spin to it. I started the pot with half a pound of meaty bacon. I was eating it the entire commercial break, so there's a little less than half a pound at this point. <laughs> um, and now I've got a pot filled with large shrimp that I've just taken the color off. Oh, I forgot my Old Bay. I love Old Bay on shrimp. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's better with the bay. All right, so we'll pull the shrimp out because we don't want it to cook all the way. We don't want it to get overcooked. So I just take the color off and put them out and let them hang out with bacon. I know, I'm in already. It's shrimp and bacon. Now buy your shrimp in the shell and here's why. I take the shells off, devein the shrimp, and then I toast the shells in a pot. Just brown them up and they'll get really fragrant. And then you add a quart of chicken stock and it makes a fortified shrimp stock. It's delicious. So that's what's bubbling over here. This is a quart of bone stock, chicken bone stock or bone broth, right? And it's bubbling away with those toasted shrimp shells. And it smells glorious. Now into the bacon drippings at the bottom of our pot, we're gonna add the Trinity. The Trinity plus some potatoes for our chowder. And I put garlic in everything, so I'm gonna throw some garlic in too. And salt and pepper, of course. And a little garlic, or a lot. I just grate it right down in there. Give that a spin. And then we throw in our taters. And a bay leaf. And then we're gonna let this sweat and cook all together in the hot tub. And then we're gonna add some uh, fire roasted corn kernels from the freezer. Uh, or you could throw a couple of ears of corn on the grill when it's in season, of course. Now we're gonna build the liquids um, into our chowder here. It's a Cajun style chowder. So we're gonna put in a fat amount of Frank's Red Hot. And we're gonna put in a little Worcestershire. Oh, it smells so sexy. Mm. And then we're gonna take our toasted shrimp shell stock, add about a quarter of that. And then we're gonna take our shrimp and our bacon and add a cup of heavy cream. And we're gonna let that hang for a couple minutes. I forgot to tell you to throw the corn in there too, but I did. Um, and the audience was watching me while we were watching the pot, waiting for it to boil. But we've got it up to a nice bubble now. Look how good that looks with the corn and the bacon and the potatoes and all them shrimp and our spicy chowder sauce. Oh. Yum, yum, yum. I know. Look at that, dang. to put crushed, old school saltine crackers all over it, <laughs> right? And then a little bit of chives. Yes. I love chives on chowder. And I like a little extra hot sauce on mine too with the crackers. Yes! yes.